Welcome back to Afternoon Express. If you've just joined us today, we're making the ultimate cheeseburger. But before we get started, it's time to announce the last two winners for the Hellman's hashtag Rock Your Burger competition for Thursday. TD Esther Madibo, congratulations, with the red coleslaw with barbecue chicken strips with the Hellman's mayo dress. And the Friday winner was Victor Kunao with his shredded chicken burger with barbecue bits, gorgonzola, avocado, and red onion marmalade. Now, recently, Hellman's launched their burger truck at the Neighborhood Goods Market in Johannesburg, where some of the country's top food bloggers and media personalities had the chance to show off their burger-making skills. Check it out. The Neighborhood Goods Market was the place to be on World Burger Day for a huge celebration to launch Hellman's hashtag Rock Your Burger campaign. A beloved food brand for over a century, Hellman's has innovated once again with a burger truck that makes personalized burgers by printing a selfie onto the burger bun. Basic process is that we take pe people's pictures and basically burn them onto a bun using a laser printer. Uh, pure heat, very sanitary, and it just looks amazing. People are quite ecstatic about it, actually. Like, I, I want to see my face on a bun is basically what people are saying. We are celebrating World Burger Day. So we've got a mixture of food bloggers, of media personalities, as well as like uh, food editors like Taste and Fresh Living. The famous foodies in attendance formed teams who would face off in the ultimate burger competition where each team chose a different main ingredient as the hero of their burger. First team are called the Rolling Buns. It's Carmeny Pata, who's SA MasterChef winner 2013 and host of Girl Eat World. Steve Steinfeld, the Jobo foodie, and Abigail, the editor at Taste Magazine. Steve's doing the burger patty, yeah. so that's got to be perfection. I, I'm leaving the cooking to the professionals, though. And then we'll do the flavour, the toppings, and of course the helmets mayonnaise, which is going to make it all. If we don't win, we're going to be really upset. Second up, we have the Food Fighters. It's Roxy Burger TV and yeah, Roxy Burger TV and radio personality presenter and DJ Charmaine from Glam Foodie Blogger and Jonathan Sittert at Food Editor at Fresh Living Magazine. I think the secret I ingredients know. of a great burger is love. Put your heart Elizabeth. and soul into it. And finally, we've got the Ramayones. <laughs> we've got Chris Forrest, comedian and essay MasterChef celebrity winner. Yay. Emco Web, Food and Home Mag, and we've got Zinfle Mampulo from Food Editor at City Press Newspaper. Okay, as you can see, my teammates are amazing. They're uh, placing up a storm here. Our team is called the Highway to Hellman's, which is a very clever name because it's Hellman's Mayonnaise. We were actually hoping to make it a bit spicier. What we thought was chili turned out to be tomato pesto, so it's fine. It's still awesome. It's still great. We're still going to win. You know, I think we've rocked it. For me, what makes a great burger is about not only the juiciness and the beautiful taste combinations, but also texture. Crispy lettuce, soft tomato, beautiful juicy patty, which will complement the tangy, fresh pineapple salsa that Carmeny's made with Hellman's mayonnaise. We are the food fighters. So we're getting aggressive and we have a bold burger. That's our strategy. Uh, we have a secret weapon. We actually took some mayonnaise and we toasted the buns with the mayonnaise. Then we've got a delicious patty, grilled cheese, and we're opting for fresh mayonnaise. Second mayo going. Uh, this is our secret weapon here, melted cheese. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, meh. Meh. It's supposed to be rock your burger. These are more of a rock bland than rock band. But we've gone for a double patty, some some really sweet um, red onions, some blue cheese, some tomato pesto, and then a slab of cheddar, tomato, and more Hellman's mayo. We're so happy to have Abby on our team because this is definitely a very well-styled burger. It's got uh, feta, it's got a pineapple salsa. Why am I dropping things? A pineapple salsa with Hellman's mayonnaise in it. Obviously, crispy bacon, and yeah, if it doesn't win, they're all crazy. When it comes to a great burger, I'm looking for it to be delicious, juicy, and definitely has to showcase Hellman's. And the winner is the Food Fighters! The burger created by the Food Fighters will now be on the Hellman's burger truck menu, and all the proceeds generated by the sale of this special burger will go to a charity organization called Outreach Foundation. 
Follow Holman ZA on Facebook and Twitter or go to holmans.co.za for all the hashtag Rock Your Burger action and to see when the Holman's Burger Truck will be in your town. Wow, that certainly looks like it was so much fun. So many familiar and favorite faces on there. Okay, so I think we could give them a run for their money. Right? Okay, definitely. definitely. So what I've done is I've shaped the mince patty. You've got to be very careful. You don't compress the mince too much. Because that's what kind of causes it to become a really hard puck instead of a or patty. Or a meatball. Exactly. So there's in a high heat over there, a little bit of oil. Let's try it like you think we're going to get some flame today. Yeah, well, do you, boo. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> flame grill. Before I even said yes, you were like, ah, flame. Okay, cool. Don't so do what that did you, What did you season that with? Just salt, that's the trick. Oh. No breadcrumbs, no eggs, Nothing? none of that funny stuff, just salt and pepper. So I just did um, salt, I like adding my pepper to the end. I find that sometimes the, the pepper actually burns in the hot oil. And it goes a bit bitter. There we go. So uh, the flames are just an added extra, you don't need to do that. <laughs> so let's turn we it over. We love your added extras, Clem. Oh. Are you going to do it again? No, no, on the spot. <laughs> Why don't you? Just put me on the spot. Okay, so that's been seasoned both sides. I'll okay. do the whole magic just now. But the trick is... Don't mess with the burger. Let the burger just sit and seal on its own. And what you can end up with is your, all your mince patties, right? Now, I'm doing rule number one that you're not supposed to ever do. That's overcrowding the pan with the meat. Mm. But I'm doing it for a reason. So we're going to get this nice and hot. Get, get, now get a nice sizzle. You've got to hear the meat cooking. Mm -hmm. You've got to use all your senses when you cook. Mm -hmm. Very important. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting some cheddar. I love it when you get so passionate. It is. And it's burgers. I mean, come on. Who doesn't love okay. a good burger? So, malted cheese or cheese on your burger. Yeah. I'm using a mature cheddar. You can use any cheddar you like. You can use a gorgonzola. I think gorgonzola would be insane with this I'm sure burger. I'm it would. And what I'll do is I'm going to create some steam in there. Okay. So a little bit of water and a heavy lid goes on. So let that do its thing, right? What's going to happen is the cheese is going to melt all over the burger. That's what a cheeseburger is all about. And then it's going to make magic. Okay, so now well, there's one reason we're here today. It's about Hellman. Yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah. it's... I'm about this. Exactly. And yeah. it really is yeah. the world's number one I love mayonnaise it. for a reason. Yeah. I mean, tuna mayo is not a tuna mayo. It's not, nothing's the same without this. I know. Nothing. It's so true, but I mean, it's so... It's actually, I to take that. No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is, I don't know if you know this, you can actually, when you toast your buns, right, instead of using butter, use Hellman's on there, and then put it in the pan. It gives you the most amazing yeah, caramelization look ever. Yeah, that. So what I'm going to ask you, if, if you don't mind, just to add some of the Hellman's to the base. Some bases, more. Okay. On all of them. And I'm going to just check on our burgers so over here. So you'll be very proud of me. Speaking of buns, I made uh, my son's hot dogs for their school lunch this morning. And I toasted the buns. Oh, and I cut proud the, the viennas. And I fried them like I was a pro. <laughs> It makes all at difference. seven o'clock in the morning. No, I'm, I'm proud of you. You got. You have to toast the buns. Yeah. After no, the soggy, to. and no one likes a soggy bun. Exactly. No, never. Okay. So to go with our burger, you're doing a brilliant job one over side. there. One side. It's just you just need one side. Yeah, just one side for okay. now. We'll add some more later. I've got some onion rings. So when I make onion rings, I find like some people sometimes call it onion rings, but it's just a bowl of like mushy <laughs> onions. But I feel sorry for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share all my tips with you today. So what you're gonna do first, you gotta soak your onions in some milk. What that does, it draws out that, that strong oniony punch and flavor in there. Yeah. But also acts as a glue when you actually put your onions into your flour. So what wow. I'm doing, I'm gonna stretch over you. I've got some plain flour over here. I'm using some Cajun spice. That way it gives it like a real kick, some nice heat in there. Yeah. And some garlic salt. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix that all up and then add your onions to that to coat them well. But here's the trick. Let it What's sit for trick? 15 minutes before you put it in the oil. The oh. reason for that is the flour ends up sticking to the onion because of the milk, like glue. So when you put it into the hot oil, it doesn't dissipate into the oil. Oh, yeah. It actually and forms like a serious crust. You don't get all these crumbs in the oil. Like the one we got over there. I'll pop it to the side over there. So you've done all of that for me. So mm -hmm. let's actually let's mm -hmm. start assembling. We're good. Okay, production line. So you got a, okay. and the, you got a, some halmans there. I'm just gonna pop it to the side. Everything's clean. Oh, this guy's got halmans yeah, on both sides. Yeah, that's a special <laughs> one. That one's for me. Okay, so now we're gonna do this. <laughs> okay, Six cool. hamburgers, and we're gonna put it together in record time. Okay. So right. here's the sequence. All it's right. gonna go. Lettuce. Lettuce. Wait, wait, wait. We've got we've got to time this. Okay. okay. So let's go. Okay. So it's lettuce, burger, onion, bacon. Bun, and we finish it with a pickle on the end because green means go. So unless it's got the green on top, it's not it's good not to go. go. Cool. So let's okay. do this. So you're gonna go cool. lettuce. I'm gonna come through with the buns, with the with the burgers. You doing well? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's a little hot. A little hot. We professionals. 
Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna shift this all out the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. We're feeding the people ready, today. Ready, 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 ready. So you can see the way that our cheese is melted over the burger. That's beautiful, and it smells insane. And a bit of the cheese is kind of caught on the pan. That goes, it's slightly crispy. Oof. And that's just we like love it. even better. Okay. And then it's the onion rings. It is. Okay, so onion rings, here you go. Uh, okay. <laughs> so if you're not a burger um, fan and if you don't eat meat, um, shame. Not today. We're not catering to you. Oh, wow. <laughs> today is all about the mince, <laughs> it's all, all about, about the burger. It's all about the ultimate. Can we swap outside? I'm just going to go over you. Okay. This is looking so good. I it's feel like we're amazing. ending up with more. I love your onion rings. One, two, three, four, five, six. There okay. we go. I'm going to do bacon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love <laughs> your bacon. Really How did you well. get your bacon like that? Okay, so with the triple... Tick, like, okay, I don't know about you, but the trick is putting it in the Ask oven. Ask about me. Okay. <laughs> I don't like putting bacon in the oven, though. <laughs> this came from the oven, so you can get perfectly, like, perfectly, like, magazine-ready piece of bacon. So you, you're saying you don't like it in the oven? No, I always I find, make mine in the oven, because okay, then I, I don't have goes, to add extra oil. Yeah, that's the thing. But I find it goes a little too salty, and sometimes it dries out a little too much. I like it in the pan. I like bacon with a little bit of chew. I know oh, some wow. people like it super crispy. Oh, okay, a piece we're of nearly bacon. there. What's missing? Nothing. We're done. Buns on? Buns on. Okay. Look around this side of here, grab the skewers back over here. So I like serving the pickle on top of the bun. And you? Um, no. In the bun. Shouldn't it be in the bun? And sometimes when we're on live TV, we just agree to things just to make like TV yeah, seem yeah, so Yeah, 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 I like it on the bun. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. Jeannie would be calling me a black blonde right now. <laughs> it's okay. okay, you know what? It's okay. It's looking good. I think you and I could open our own food truck. Yeah, we could. Me with a little bit of training. <laughs> something doesn't look right. <laughs> something looks... I don't know so what yeah, something, happened. We'll, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. This is TV. We can fix anything. After the break, we're joined by endurance swimmer Theo Doyash for some health inspiration. We'll be right back. Hi, YouTubers. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means the world to us. Join the Afternoon Express family by subscribing to our channel right here. And we'll keep you up to date with all our recipes and, of course, our fabulous episodes. Also, feel free to leave a comment and share this video. We do love it when you express yourself.